What's up everybody and welcome back so now in this video we are going to work on our camera rotation so let's start doing work on our camera so on my main camera i have created a new script with the name my camera in the scripts folder so let's open it up in visual studio now in here uh, what we want to do actually is uh, so if the, our if our player is standing still and if we move our mouse on the x-axis the camera should orbit around our player so the camera should go like that and if we move our mouse pointer up and down so for up our camera should go up and for down here so to do that let's go back to our script and in here for the x and y axis we are going to create two float variables so one of them is going to be y axis and the other one is going to be now to get the input what we are going to do we are going to say y axis is going to be equal to now you might be wondering that for y axis why are we getting the input of mouse x so let's discuss what the input dot get x is mouse x is going to return so let's go back to our editor so if you move your mouse on the x axis we are going to rotate the camera on the y axis because if you can see that if i move my camera on y axis it is going to move like that so the x axis is the mouse x axis is going to be that movement so our camera should also move on y axis like that so that's why we are storing the mouse x axis uh, in our y axis variable so if the user moves the mouse on the x axis we are going to apply the rotation of on camera's y axis so let's print this and see what we get from that now let's go back to our editor and play the game now if I move my mouse on X axis you can see that the value here is updating and if I stop it is going back to zero so actually if you move towards your mouse at Y at uh, left side you will notice that we will get negative value so right here it is zero so if I move neg uh, left side the value you can see is negative but if I start moving towards the right side the value we get is positive and the moment I stop it is going back to zero so what problem will we get here Be so because each time we stop we are going to get zero so this is going to return zero and our y-axis rotation is going to be zero so which is not acceptable because if we let's say move our camera right here and if we stop it should be staying at that angle but instead it is going back to zero so let's fix that so what we need to do is we are going to add each time we receive input so if it is so if the mouse is uh, moving towards the right side we are going to constantly add that value in our y-axis and if it is zero so adding zero will not affect so it is going to stay positive so in here i am going to also get the input for our x-axis so x-axis now what the mouse y is going to do uh, if you move your mouse upwards it is going to give you a positive value and if you move towards the down direction it is going to return a negative value so let's test it out so i am going to comment 
it that so we are going to check what the mouse y is going to return so let's play the game and we should be focusing on this variable so now you can see that the x-axis is changing so if we go upward the value we receive will always be positive but the moment we start moving towards the down direction it is going to give us negative value now we are going to do the same thing well not exactly the same we are going to actually subtract that value why so let's see why we are subtracting it so you can see that because we are going to on the we are going to do the rotation on x axis if our move if our mouse is moving up and down so if we are gi gi giving the positive value in the rotation the camera is going to look towards the down direction so if we gave a negative value or if we go towards the upward direction you can see the value here is negative now let's see what is going to do so let's say we are uh, moving in the upward direction it means that we are moving our mouse in the upward direction so we know that when we move our mouse towards the upward direction we are going to get the positive value so let's say we get positive 5 and we are storing that value positive 5 in the x-axis so when we pass that value in the rotation so we are going to do the rotation so it means that we are going to move the camera rotation at positive so if we are getting the positive the camera is going to move in the positives but the positive it is going down so if we move our camera upward the camera is going to point towards the down direction but we don't want that so what we are going to do instead of adding we are going to subtract that value so let's start coding and you will understand why so also you can see that it is uh, returning some very small value but uh, we need some kind of sensitivity variable to store the to control the sensitivity of our rotation so in here i am going to we can change that and we are going to multiply that with our rotation sensitivity and same thing for that now after that we are going to create a new vector 3 which is going to store the both of these now guess what we are going to put here should we put y axis or should we put x axis now the first axis is going to be the x axis but let's go back so if we are getting the mouse x so if we are moving the mouse in the x direction we should move our camera at y axis so for x if we move the camera on x axis what we are going to do we are going to actually set it to y axis so this is y axis and if we move our camera on the uh, sorry if we move our mouse on the y axis which is up and down we should move the camera on x axis because uh, from the camera point of view we should do like that so that's why we are going to put x axis here now we are going to now set the rotation of camera so we are going to directly set it by transform dot angles now let's quickly go back to our 
editor and make sure to apply the camera script on your main camera so now you can see that if we move our mouse on the y-axis the rotation we are getting is on the x-axis of camera so like that we are getting the rotation at y-axis but you can see that the movement the rotation is not smooth so we have to smooth it so let's go back now also our camera is going to maintain some distance from our player because if you can see right here the camera is always going to be behind our player maintaining a specific distance from our player so when we we are uh, definitely going our camera is definitely going to follow our player and it is going to maintain some distance so let's do that so for that we have to get the reference of our target which is going to be our player so we are going to get the transform of player so we need to know the position of player so let's call it target and the camera position is going to be so transform dot position is going to be whatever the target position has so we are going to calculate the distance so target position minus transform dot forward our current forward and we are going to multiply it by some distance so let's see the value so right now if you can see our player is at minus 2 and our our camera is at minus 2 and our player it player is at 0 so the difference between the main camera and player is 2 minus 2 so the distance we want to maintain is 2 units So actually we have to say target dot position because target is a transform variable now let's play that we have to actually assign the variable which is our target so if i drag my target here now you can see that our camera in the scene view you can see that our camera is orbiting around the player and it is going to maintain distance of two units